explain that how we really proceeded in getting the GWP main message and that was that how best we can help the developing countries in their water source management. And the concept created was integrated water source management where we thought that instead of having a sectoral approach, we should have a holistic approach and meet the requirements of all stakeholders in that. We tried to take that one and we have been thinking on that how best we can move forward. And we had many barriers to cross here, uh, bureaucratic barriers, political barriers. Then what we did was to start with the grassroots level and slowly start working at the policy level also. And today in whole of the South Asia, all the six countries that we have very actively participating in IWR in process, that in the uh, country acts, water laws, the IWRM is, appears on the top and the people at the grassroots level also understand what IWRM is and the three things that we nearly three pillars of IWRM that we have been educating the masses in all these South Asian countries at the grassroots level is that it is equity. You must respect the rights, what rights of other people. That is first equity, then it is um, economic efficiency because Water has value, it has a, it's an economic good, it has a social good, but at the same time it's an economic good. And third is that water is also for environment and you protect your environment at the same time. Now this message to break through all the bureaucratic barriers, we have to work about three to four years at the grassroots level and the policy level. And having done that, we now find that in South Asia, this concept of integrated uh, uh, water resource management is top on the policy makers agenda and it's also every stakeholders of the gender and the students, they all know what IWRM is and that's how we're going to proceed and how all the water challenges that we're going to meet in future is to adopt a policy, a process which really uh, has a holistic view, not a sectoral position. The workshops that uh, we are now organizing is also to now look into the future challenges. And I think the climate change, uh, food security and water security in this region is going to be a major issue. And we see that we have a connect that if you remain within the box of each country, you probably will be very difficult to accept the future challenges and to uh, address the future challenges. Therefore. We think a more holistic view is now required and that holistic view is that we should now think regionally. That because we, if you look into the water connections, the small of the region is connected with the Himalayan water towers with the Bay of Bengal. It stretches over thousands and thousands of kilometers in which the South Asian countries are located. So the climate change impacts in future, it's a, it has to be again a holistic view how are you going to really combat the uh, floods and the droughts? Because the floods and droughts are basically the causes are not within one uh, uh, territorial uh, boundary of one single country. What happens in Bangladesh happens what happens up in the Himalayan and what is coming down to Bangladesh. If there are floods in Bangladesh, they are not created there within Bangladesh, but the source is always out. So that's why we have to have a more regional holistic view in combating these and working again using our IWRM to combat the challenges of climate change in the future.